Okay. Contrarily, we have also GP series. We should be going more into deep detail. Here you have the first term as A, common ratio is R. Some number of terms in this case is sin. Last term is 128. So here you find that the first term is A, P1 is A, P2 is AR, and P3 is AR squared, P4 is AR, 4 raised to 4 minus 1, 3, T5 is going to be AR raised to 5 minus 1, 4. So if you find each term that is Pn will always be given by A into R raised to N minus 1. And that is for example T2 it is going to be A into R raised to 2 minus 1, 1. A third term is a into r raised to 3 minus 1, 2. Similarly, this is a into r raised to 4 minus 1, 3. This is a into r raised to 5 minus 1, that is 4. So, Tn is given by a r raised to n minus 1. That is the formula for the nth term of a geometric progression. So, that's what we have here. And we also have just as you have sum of terms. In case of arithmetic progression, you also have sum of terms in case of geometric progression, which is going to be Sn, it would be A into 1 minus R raised to N upon 1 minus R if R is less than 1. And it is going to be A into R raised to N minus 1 upon R raised, R, sorry, R minus 1 if R is greater than 1. Say for example here, you can check it out, you can check it, this formula T2, T1 is A, T2 is A into R, that is 2 into 2, 4, this is T3 is going to be A into 2 square, that is 2 into 2 square, that is 8. Similarly, Sn, if you see, if you want to add up all these, let us see if you add all these, what we get. So we have 2 plus 4, that is 14 plus 16, plus 32, plus 64, plus 128 is turning out to be 254. If you add up all these, you get 254. Now in this case, R is 2. So which formula would we use? This or this? We would use this because R is greater than 2. So if you check it up, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 terms. So, A is in any case 2, R is also 2, 2 raised to 7 minus 1 upon 2 minus 1. This will turn out to be 2 into 2 raised to 7 is 128 minus 1, 127 upon 1, 2 minus 1, 1, which turns out to be 254, which is the same that we have got while actually adding these terms we got the same 254. So accordingly we use a into r raised to n minus 1. So this is the formula for Sn. However just remembering the formula is a little difficult for you the more you apply it the more we do a real life situation actual problems based on these we'll be able to get it into our system the formula will get into our system more easily.